in the end, that went almost faster than you can say money rules the world. The Super League is falling apart spectacularly less than 48 hours after the great football revolution was proclaimed. Total implosion of the billion dollar league. The new hyper-commercial event Super League collapsed two days after the great football revolution was proclaimed, at least for the time being. All six English giants buckled in the storm of protest on Tuesday or Wednesday night and withdrew. Liverpool FC, Manchester City, Manchester United, Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal FC and Chelsea FC. Atletico Madrid and Inter Milan should no longer be interested either. The Super League is effectively dead before it was brought to life and meekly distanced itself from its grandiose plans. We will consider the appropriate steps to transform the project, announced the organizers. However, it was unclear who was still behind the project. Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain had previously given clear and painful rejections. It was absolutely the right decision by the English clubs, Prime Minister Boris Johnson had already said on Twitter before the fall of the first domino and that was Manchester City. I hope that others will follow, he said. The project of the Big 12, 12 world clubs of the super rich, pushed by JP Morgan, will become a misfire mocked around the world, with the clear winners FIFA, UEFA and the newly reformed Champions League, whose commercial changes the fans will now probably swallow with joy. At Stamford Bridge, around 1,000 Chelsea fans who had actually wanted to protest cheered. Manchester City can confirm that the club is withdrawing from the group that is developing plans for a Super League, said the Premier League leaders in a one-liner a little later. The five other clubs followed suit. Manchester United Chief Executive Ed Woodward, a driving force behind the league, announced his departure. The former renegades are unlikely to expect any harsher punishments. UEFA President Alexander Severin extended his hand. I'm very happy to welcome City back to the European football family. You have shown great cleverness, said the Slovenian. Until the return of the century, uh, the, uh, until the turn of the century, it looked like Real Madrid, Liverpool, and the like wanted to do their thing against all odds. For that, they were seen as a dirty dozen. The fans of the German grandees don't have to worry. Record champions FC Bayern München and, according to SID information, also Borussia Dortmund definitely excluded participation. On behalf of the board, I can expressly state that FC Bayern does not take part in the Super League, said club boss Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, emphasizing FC Bayern is in solidarity with the Bundesliga. For FC Bayern, the Champions League is the worldwide best club competition. BVB will definitely not play along in the construct as well. Internally, according to SID information, it is set in stone that the club will by no means join the plans. In any case, the club had neither an inquiry nor a concrete offer nor a deadline from the league. However, clear communication is difficult due to stock exchange law obligations. The major football associations and their three newly elected top German officials had committed themselves to the common fight against the renegades. Legally, however, the rebels' chances were assessed as good. In my opinion, this should not be possible for UEFA, said lawyer for sport, uh, no, he's lawyer for sport law as well, Christian Solmecke. I know him from media law from a lot of YouTube videos. Nevertheless, the World Association FIFA with the new council member Peter Peters, the European um, Football Union UEFA with the re-elected Rainer Koch, and Karl-Heinz Rummenigge in the executive and the German Football Association DFB sought the confrontation. At the end of their congress, the 55 members of UEFA unanimously passed a resolution against the Super League. And that was in the DFB sense. The clubs and their junior teams should be excluded from all competitions until they think about the many supporters who made them into the biggest clubs in the world and not just their wallets, said President Fritz Keller. Real President Florentino Perez did not want to be threatened. 
Madrid will not be thrown out of the Champions League, definitely not, said the Spaniard, who is to be the ESL boss. So if, for now, that was quite a very short excursion from the normal parts of football, but we will see how that will continue. Some still sound a bit aggressive if you listen closely to some clubs. But we will see in the future. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.